Let's review our screw patterns here with the full width of the one by six going into the hog's trough leg. We want to try to do three screws and we want to get three screws on three different grain lines of our leg here. So we want to put one probably if we divide this up into thirds, one, two, and not land on that. So maybe three can go down the middle of that. But uh, we'll just put a line there. We'll put a line there and we'll put a line there. This is just your principle of how you're going to attach your screws. We pick one for each line and we just don't go in a diagonal. So if we put one here, we're gonna put another one here and we're gonna put another one here. And that way the three screws are on three different grain lines in my leg making it less likely that the leg is going to split out. If I put all three of them in the same row, then all three of them are on the same grain line here, and that is more likely going to split right along at that path. And I've put them in three different grain lines this way as well. So we got one here, one here, and one there. So that's your general screw pattern you want to live with. You don't need to be perfect about it. If you want to make a template, you can do that so you get things a little more consistent, but try to put in three screws in that sort of pattern. And that's going to be your strongest connection and least likely to either split out your framing or split out your leg. And that's going to apply for your two by four leg as well. Same pattern but maybe not so close to there, maybe I'll be a little further in. On this side with the two by four, I can only do two screws because it's a little narrower. Remember with this first screw, I need to get it completely flush. So as I'm going there, I've just created a little gap and I don't want that gap. So I need to keep going until this head gets sunk below the surface and until that gap is gone. And I wanna look over here and make sure there's no gap down there. But I need this gap to be gone before I continue screwing. And then I'm going to put this one in. And sometimes when I put this one in, it pushes this away a little bit, which it doesn't seem to be doing right now, but um, go until that's below the surface slightly and my gap is gone. and just winging it on the other side. Um, it's a little narrower on this side. This is our wide side, so I'm going to just put two screws here on a diagonal. And that's good. That's the leg. We want to try to do three screws, and we want to get three screws on three different grain lines of our leg here. And that way, the three screws are on three different grain lines in my leg, making it less likely that the leg is going to split out. And I've put them in three different grain lines this way. It's a little narrower on this side, so I'm going to just put two screws here on a diagonal. When you have a platform built out of one by six, always, always, always screw from the outside in. In any platform you're building, in any sort of construction, you almost always want to screw from the outside in. You don't want to screw from the inside out, especially since I'm using one and five eighths inch screws. The one and five eighths inch screw is going to be a little bit wider than my three quarter inch pine plus my three quarter inch pine, which is one and a half inches. This is one and five eighths. Five eighths is an eighth of an inch bigger than that. And it's going to have a little pokey thing sticking out. So I want that little pokey thing on the inside. And I need to use one and five eighths inch screws because one and a quarter inch screws will be too short and will only have two or three teeth biting into this piece and it's not enough to hold. So you need to use one and five eighths inch screws. You're going through one by into some other material, use one and five eighths inch screws. Maybe two inch screws if you're in a pinch uh, or if you need a little extra strength going into a two by four, but one and five eighths should be good for most everything. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with more technical theater content.